I am uh, Bob Hillerick. I'm fifth generation bat manufacturer for Hillick and Bradsby Louisville Slugger baseball bats. We used to have 20 to 22 different steps in making a baseball bat in the 60s and 70s. You had a guy sitting there with tools, hand turning, and with a pair of calipers. When we used to hand turn, we would come in here and we would get the particular model that was calling for, like this model here is the actual Babe Ruth bat that we turned his bats off of. You know, if you were good at it, you could turn one in 10 to 15 minutes. But today, with the tracers we have, it's just a matter of pressing a few buttons and changing from one model to the next, and the bats run in about right at 45 seconds. Bats are coming off the CNC lathes plus or minus three thousandths of an inch. The only thing that's really left up to us is to choose the right model and the correct weight for the, build, for the bat being selected. When a player wants a new model made, I'm the guy who makes them. They'll send in the model, I will take it, digitize it, then use it in AutoCAD to shape it, and then you put it in our Goelon uh, program and install it into the uh, CNC lathe. It's handed over to Danny Luckett at our CNC machine and where he makes the final determination of which billet goes for which player's bats. Then it goes over for combination sanding and once it's sanded uh, the nubs are finally cut off and we mark the bat uh, either through a burn branding process or laboring process. Then it's finished. Uh, the weights are checked in three different areas now to where we make sure that every player gets the correct weight. Then it's final checked and packed and ready to ship out. When I first started, our, our finish and our overall bat wasn't exactly what we needed to be. We looked at our product, we looked at the comp uh, competition's product, and we said, hey, there's some neat innovations out there. How can we match their innovations and make them better? We've made the finishes on our bats harder. We are making the overall grains on the bat. We've found out ways to tighten them up, make them stronger, keep the flaking down. Um, just basically from step one to the very last step, we've been able to increase our production and make the bats look better and perform better. There's only one place to go when you're number one and that's down. There's not an employee downstairs right now that doesn't understand that we're making a better bat now than we were five years ago.